nine. This does not exist. October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face. And I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called me on. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful that I that then oh wait, she's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. While Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and clearly wants me to succeed. Okay. I thought you rewind back time. So you wrote a journal still? Saying that you uh, totally blew it? Don't get it. Page 10. I felt, sh I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare. Or daymare. <laughs> Once I got to the bathroom, I saw his odd. I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in right, flutter in, and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner, and this punk girl came in, and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. Okay, all right, she's telling the rewind story. When Nathan fired a gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the boat. But suddenly, I could feel the world twisting around me, and this pressure in my head, everything seemed to rewind, and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major Groundhog Deja Vu. Somehow, I was able to actually rewind time. Oh, page 11. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan. This time, I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory. Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger, Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoot David away. Uh, stepped in to shoot David away. Then I made the Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling me that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. Not all those who wonder are lost. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream then ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Yeah, I don't know either. So that's the end of your journal.